This is moving out in the next couple of hours as colder temperatures start to move in. I mean, look across the state. I know normally it is warmer on the coast and cooler in the mountains, but still 70s on the coast. We have dropped into the 60s mainly. Roxborough, you've dropped down to 59. 40s on the verge of 30s in the mountains. So the colder air is starting to filter in and you will feel it tomorrow morning. I know it's Saturday, but if you're up and at them early, you might want to grab a jacket. 49 degrees. That's about 15 degrees colder than it was this morning, about 6 a.m. Plenty of sunshine, no rain throughout the day. We'll jump up to 58 by lunchtime and after two days to start the month in the 70s. How about some 60s tomorrow? 62 degrees with below average temperatures. And I know we didn't see any sun today, so I leave you to end the work week with this shot from Frank. This is last week up in Roseville. His kids just finished soccer practice. Amazing sunset happening up in the sky. I put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look. And let's take this moment to remind you that the sun is setting today at 618. It'll set tomorrow about that time. But we are turning the clocks back this weekend, so we'll have a whole different time set to get adjusted to, as well as our bodies. Don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. Also a great time to keep an eye on your family and your house and change those smoke detector and carbon monoxide batteries. We only ask you to do it twice a year, and that is two days out of 365. And also, we don't want you to be late for church or shopping or anything you got to do on Sunday. So here's the weather map. I mean, it's pretty simple. We're trading in high pressure and a southerly wind for a cold front and a northerly wind that's going to drop our temperatures and make it not feel so muggy. Did you feel that today? You usually don't feel that mugginess in November, but that's what we had today. And tomorrow we don't have much of anything. So here we are at 7 a.m. tomorrow. The rain is gone. The clouds are clear. And we zoom through the day, through lunchtime, the afternoon, and the evening. And we don't have a cloud in the sky, really, across all of North Carolina. It doesn't stay that way all of Sunday. Here we are Sunday morning. Notice some clouds start to show up to the south. Those clouds will creep in here in the afternoon Sunday, but we stay dry the entire day on Sunday. Remember, sun's going to set at a different time on Sunday and very late Sunday night. We've got a couple showers that'll sneak in here, some of which might be around for the Monday morning commute. But that's Monday. Let's enjoy what's coming our way this weekend. If you're going to enjoy some college football, I know the Tar Heels are in town. The Pack is in town hosting Florida State. That game kicks off at 3.30. Again, sunny skies. 62 when the game starts, but 50s when the game ends. The professionals will do it in Charlotte on Sunday. Panthers are welcoming Tampa Bay. They'll have decent weather, couple clouds, temperatures in the 60s. Panthers looking for their sixth win. And we are looking for a weekend that feels like November, and that's what we have. That rain again late, late Sunday night. Otherwise, some scattered showers Monday and Tuesday. Don't forget it's Election Day Monday. We'll do it with a few showers. And again, temperatures in the 70s before another cold front cools us back off late later next week and generally dries us out. That is a look at your Friday night seven day forecast. We